In chapter two of Black Myth Wukong, there is a sand waterfall that you can find after progressing through the chapter for a little bit. Behind this waterfall is a very specific dragon enemy that you get to kill that links to a larger quest line and gives you very specific rewards to give you a very unique staff. But before we can unlock this waterfall, we need to get a very specific item from chapter two. Once you're in chapter two, progress chapter two until you start fighting the King of Flowing Sands and the second Prince of Flowing Sands. Now there's two different ways you can do this. You can defeat the King of Flowing Sands first and that will make this fight harder because you didn't have to defeat the second prince of flowing sands or you can defeat the second prince of flowing sands first and the king will then run away making the next step to actually opening up the waterfall much easier this is a mandatory boss fight so it's one way or the other you go through this boss fight now again i say you kill the second prince first because if you kill the second prince you only have to fight one of them but if you kill the king first the second prince is actually going to get a lot stronger and a lot harder to kill making this entire fight that much more difficult now whichever option you end up going with you are going to be able to continue on to this next part where you have to fight the first son of the flowing sands now in my playthrough i killed the second prince first which automatically has the king summon the first prince but don't worry if you killed the king first you will get a chunk of meat that you use to summon the first prince it's just an extra step that you have to go to the edge where you see the king to summon him that way either or the first prince can be summoned and it's not a required boss fight either now here's the main important part when the first prince is summoned you're going to see a decorative wall that you need him to charge into at some point he's going to do several different charging attacks and any one of them that hits this wall is going to break it open that is what you're looking for because after you defeat the prince you need to go inside this crack now don't worry if you don't have the prince actually destroyed this wall there are a couple different transformations that can crack this wall if you want to do it that way obviously summoning the first prince makes it much easier to crack this wall but if you don't want to fight him you can use the wandering white transformation to destroy the wall as well now that the first son is defeated go to the wall and simply go in this is going to transport you to an entirely different area inside of chapter two now there isn't going to be anything inside of this chamber except for a chest that you need to open up inside of this chest is going to be the long scales the necessary item to open up this waterfall and a different waterfall in chapter one which i have a video on but staying focused on the sand waterfall we need to teleport to a new location in chapter two this specific area is going to be the rock rest flat near the fright cliff area of chapter two very easy location to come across i do believe it's one of the more main routes that you can take throughout this chapter nonetheless follow the pathing path i'm showing you because you should easily be able to see this waterfall from where you teleported in once you're in front of the waterfall you will get the examination action all you have to do is of course use this examination action and you'll be greeted by the waterfall being exploded and then a stone door that you get to interact with to open which will then teleport you to an entire arena where you get to fight a very unique dragon now like i mentioned at the beginning of this video this is one of four unique dragons dragons throughout Black Myth Wukong that are linked together in a larger quest line. For this particular dragon, it is one of two that allows you to get a very powerful early game staff. And thankfully, this boss fight is fairly straightforward and fairly simple to navigate. He is quite slow but hits very hard, so be careful of his giant swings. There's also one attack where he shatters a bunch of lightning onto the ground that creates ripples that you need to jump over. But thankfully, in the arena, there's a bunch of rocks you could jump onto that allows you to just stand over the ripples. Once you have defeated this dragon you'll get a short cutscene that i won't show here so you guys can enjoy it but you will be shown where a golden chest shows up that you need to interact with to get some of the major rewards the first major item that you get is the thunder bone which is a very unique item that you get from only defeating this specific boss that you can use to create that very specific staff i was mentioning a minute ago you also get a long pearl which is another unique crafting item but it does relate to the staff that we're focusing on in this video in addition to the very unique crafting materials you also get this curios that slightly reduces cooldown of all spells it's very useful in certain builds from my guess i haven't played a lot with a different build setup now i haven't messed around with a lot of different builds in this game yet but i can see how this is very strong in some future builds and finally the staff that i was talking about the long wreath staff is available to be crafted once you have defeated this dragon and also the dragon in chapter one behind a different waterfall as you can see you need a bunch of different items but if you're progressing through the game and doing this quest line at the same time this is a great staff to pick up now again to just reiterate this point you see the question marks that are above the thunderbone material that is from the chapter one dragon which is an entirely different crafting item that you can only get from that dragon so well, if you want to get this long wreath staff you're going to need to go and defeat that dragon as well i will have that same walkthrough guide linked down below 
But for the sake of the sand waterfall and the black long dragon that you just fought, I hope you guys found this location and walkthrough guide helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below and let me know your favorite part of that boss fight. Personally, my favorite part was the unique attacks that he throws at you. But again, I'm always curious what you guys think. Once again, I hope you guys found this walkthrough guide helpful. I'll catch you in the next video.